Hi, have you ever needed to double extend something like a block for a 3x3 piston door but you need multiple pistons and a complicated system just to achieve this? Well this piston can do this in one motion but it uses a lot of command blocks though but it's pretty cool. There's a few limitations one of them is it can only push upwards second one is it can only push one block at a time and also can't lift entities like players like this. This is a normal double extending piston. And this is a sticky double extending piston. It brings it back down. Here's how it works. When you place a redstone block here, it'll set off a chain of commands. This command will set this piston to be extended and to do that it's just set block position of the piston and minecraft piston square bracket extended equals true comma facing equals up and square bracket and these are all default the second command will clone this dirt block two blocks upwards and to do that it's clone in the position of the block and just do that twice then up two blocks, masked, and has to be chain, conditional, always active. Next we'll have to make a piston sound by ourselves, because uh, this piston won't make the sound. To do that, it's play sound, then the sound you want to play, which is piston.extend. It's a block, and at all players, and that's the position of the sound, which is the piston. Then it's... 1 for volume and 0 0.7 for pitch and it has to be a chain unconditional and always active the fourth command will set the block above the piston to a fence block so to do that it's set block then the position oak fence and that's chain conditional always active and finally the last command will set the block above the fence post to a piston head and that's just set block position piston head facing equals up and this has to be chain conditional and always active so yeah that's how it works now the sticky piston slightly different when the pistons deactivated the grass block needs to come down so it goes up and when I turn this off it comes down and to do that, you need some redstone and a torch underneath here, then a command block. And that just clones the dirt block down two block. And it's got to be masked, move, and these are all default. That's it, I hope you've learned something. Like the video if this has helped you, subscribe if you want more, and have a nice day.